Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to talk about some other ways to fill a combo box. This is kind of our th well, third or fourth uh, entry on the combo boxes, but I really want to stress all the different things you can do. In our former macro, we did something where you could click a button to fill the combo box, and whatever you clicked on would appear in cell C2. So I'm hitting the up and down arrows. Uh, the macro ran to fill this combo box with entries from, I think from here to here. And it takes the whole table suites list and it, anything that's less than seven characters long, I think right now it's currently filling. And that's okay. I want to show you some other ways that you can fill it without using so much visual basic help. Um, and then I want to show you how to do to do that with second columns or third or fourth or however many columns you want to show up on here. So let's get started. First thing first, Alt F11. Uh, no, I take that back. What we're going to do right now is we're going to we have a name for this. It is Sweets List. If we just wanted the, that list to show up in here, just like when you're doing a uh, Whenever you're doing data validation list, let's click on developer and design mode so we can select the properties here. Right click and go to properties. I already have my window open. Okay, what you're looking for is the list fill range. Okay, you could either say A2 through A12. And let's do that A2 through A12. And when you hit enter, let's see. Through A12, enter. There we are. Okay, so when you take off design mode, you notice you already have a list of A2 through A12. Uh, all these things here. Uh, furthermore, if you let's name this range here, and we'll call it Suites Table. When I hit enter, now let's change this up a little bit. Design mode, click here. Or instead of, uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself again. It is the fill list range. First of all, we were going to say sweets list, enter. And that would do the same thing as saying A2 through A12. However, what I want to show you now and is when you go to the, we'll call this a sweets list, we'll do the sweets table, that's the range we just named, hit enter and take it out of design node and you notice nothing happens yet because we don't have more than one column. Let's change this to the column count is now two columns wide and since we selected this whole table you shall see that we have two columns and we might need to make this a little wider. Okay, you also note that although um, it's taking the correct values of the column number two, and when you click on one of them, the only thing that actually shows up in the combo box and ultimately the value of that combo box is being copied is, is whatever the column one had in it. So this is more of a reference. There is a way to access the secondary or tertiary or so on and so forth columns. We're not going to review that in this video. We are, however, going to show you how to mess with the uh, column widths. Let's see, column widths. Let's do the first one. We'll call it 20. And we'll have the next one be 30. Let's see how that pans out. Let's take a look. Oh, 20 is definitely not good enough for column one. Let's make it more like uh, uh, let's make it more like 50. See how that does. Well, still not very good. Anyway, you you play around with that and try it 100. Eh, still pretty crappy. So uh, you also know that. You'll also note, excuse me, that this button that's telling it to clear out and 
to run this macro to add things and whatnot. When it's going to deep, it's going to bug out. It's not going to let you do that custom. If you are telling Excel, this combo box has to be uh, linked to a list fill range. So if you take that out and then you run your excuse me run your button again, then it will run the code without a hitch. So those are some tips because sometimes it'll try to throw you off. And uh, that's pretty much all we wanted to review in this video. Um, later on we'll talk about how to access that secondary or whatever column for information that you may want to get from that using the list and list index and list count features. Thanks for tuning in and God bless.